Hello guys, welcome to another video of Whale Trading, where we learn how institutions and entities move the market. Remember a successful trader always ride the waves of these whales, and become part of the smart money instead of resisting and confronting them and getting wrecked. When shifting to a new strategy always remember to start low, and test a few trades to see if it performs as good on your specific timeline, trading pair and market before going big. In this video, I will be showing you a very effective trading strategy using only two indicators. So let's begin. Let's start out with the basic indicators we will need for this strategy. Go to the indicators and type twin range filter and add this indicator to your chart. After that, go to its settings and change fast period to 50, slow period to 35, and slow range to 3. Now we add our second indicator. That is Z-score probability indicator. After that, go to its settings and uncheck Labels, Tables. Labels on price scale and values in status line. That's all with the indicators. After that, our chart will be looking like this. Now let's understand the rules of taking trades on this strategy. This strategy can be used to take both long and short positions. Rule number one. To take long position, the red wave on Z-score probability indicator must fall below the red range. That is below the negative 3 level. And vice versa for taking short positions. That is the green wave on Z-score probability indicator must rise above the red range. That's above the plus 3 level. Rule number 2. After that a buy or sell signal must appear on the twin range filter. That's our trigger for entry. When these conditions are met, we open our trade. Let me explain with some examples. As you can see, all the conditions for long position are met here. The red wave on the Z-score probability indicator dip below the red area on the indicator. And we get a buy signal on the twin range filter. So we open our long position here. Keeping our stop loss below the recent swing low and keeping profit target at two times risk to reward ratio. As you can see, our profit target is hit. Now we move forward on the chart and hunt our next entry. As you can see, all the conditions for short position are met here. The green wave on the Z-score probability indicator rose above the red area on the indicator. And we get a sell signal on the twin range filter. So we open our short position here, keeping our stop loss above the recent swing high and targeting profit at two times the risk. Another win trade. Now let's move further on the chart and hunt more entries. As you can see, all the conditions are met again. The green wave on the Z-score probability indicator rose above the red area on the indicator and we get a sell signal on the twin range filter. So we open our short position here, keeping our stop loss above the recent swing high and targeting profit at two times the risk. As you can see, our profit target is hit again. We see another long entry here with all the conditions met. So we open our long position here. Keeping our stop loss below the recent swing low and keeping profit target at two times risk to reward ratio. Another win trade. 
That's how we take successful trades on this strategy. Remember not every time take profit target will be hit. Sometimes you will be stopped out. There is no strategy with 100% hit target ratio. Key is to stay consistent to a trading setup and in the long run it will be profitable. If you liked this strategy and if it has helped you in taking successful trades, like, comment and subscribe to let the algorithm know that you want to see more of new videos like this. Best of luck with your trading journey.